If you or someone you know receive a phone call or a text message saying that your family member is in danger, please contact the police and stay calm. Provide them with all the information that you can, including the phone number. This is Susanna Rojas, News 12, The Bronx. The Laboratory School of Finance and Technology, MS-223, was named School of the Year in 2010 by the Spanish government. They hope to hold the title of a Spanish Academy by next year. In South Bronx, Susana Rojas, News 12, The Bronx. Yeah. Cali has been making percussion instruments for over 40 years, providing artists such as his idol Tito Puentes and Celia Cruz. He will continue to do so until he can't anymore. In Highbridge, Susana Rojas, News 12, The Bronx. I'm here at Rockaway Brewing Company in Long Island City. We're here to get a little insight on how they make their beer and how they prepare for the Brooklyn Craft Beer Festival. Let's go check it out. They start by milling down the grain to a fine consistency. They pour the buckets of the mixture into a kettle and pump it in hot water, stirring it constantly. They even let me man the paddle. Blacks and Latinos continue to protest the stop and frisk policy. Some politicians want to set up a monitor to oversee the police department. I went to City Hall to get the story. In this home video, you see NYPD undercover officers conduct a stop and frisk in the Stapleton projects. Black and Latino men say police target them unfairly. All the time. I mean, I've been stopped six times since I moved to New York City, and I've only moved to New York City three years ago. He is one of about 532,000 stopped by police in 2012. 89% weren't arrested, according to the American Civil Liberties Union. Justice! When do we want it? On the steps of City Hall, many called for an end to profiling and supported a proposed law to provide oversight of the NYPD. He is the proud owner of JCR, a percussion instrument shop here in the Bronx. To see my father when he was fixing the guitars, making guitars and things like that, and I said, well, it's my father right there and he loved him. And I said, maybe one day I know I'm not going to be a guitar maker, but I'm going to be something else. And I decided to get in the percussions uh, instruments. His little shop in the Bronx is where many famous salseros got their sound. Rivera and his team of craftsmen create these cowbells, drums, bongos, and much more. Rivera is renowned for making the best quality instrument. His specialty is the cowbell, and his customers, who place orders from all over the world, agree. This is the award-winning Brooklyn College News. Covering New York City and your neighborhood. A shooting shakes a Brooklyn neighborhood and children worry. A Brooklyn startup finds that coffee and tea add up to smart business. Day laborers and the immigration bill, will it change their lives? All that and more coming up. Welcome to Brooklyn College News. I'm Susanna Rojas. And I'm Charles Baldini. If you live in Brooklyn, you know that gun violence is a frightening reality in some neighborhoods. Communities want it to end. We have team coverage from Bed-Stuy, East Flatbush, and Bensonhurst. Ashika James reports from Bed-Stuy. If they would do it to a 11 year old, they would have no problem doing it to a 9 year old such as myself. The Big Apple is a hot spot for small businesses. There are more than 2 million in New York City. I discovered a standout new business in Carroll Gardens. You can get a steaming cappuccino or a glass of tea at the new spot in Carroll Gardens. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. I'm Susanna Rojas. And I'm Charles Baldini. We'll see you next time. Ahora que estoy en la universidad, mi tiempo es mucho más limitado. Así que para mantenerme en forma, tengo que entrenar más fuerte. Por supuesto, los Néctares Goya han sido mis amigos fieles en todo este proceso. Ellos me dan energía, me mantienen hidratada y además saben riquísimo. Néctares Goya, con un intenso sabor a fruta, se convertirán en la bebida favorita de niños y adultos.